leave. I'm currently in my bedroom. I'm moving over to the bathroom. So I can show you guys a nice cute little fit check. The fit check. Right. So let me turn the, oh, what is on? Let me turn the camera around. Don't mind there's so many costumes on that side. But we have these cute pants <laughs> and this gorgeous, gorgeous top. I love the color. Like, this is probably the only thing I love about the outfit. The color and the big booty action. Yeah. Is there. Um, I don't know what we're doing today, so I guess it's a surprise. Yeah. Bye! The crocodile farm. Um, yeah, that's the update that I have so far. Cruise thing, and we're gonna see some crocodiles. We're gonna see some crocodiles. Yeah, we see some spoke petals. The lake. We haven't got anywhere yet, but you know, it's actually so hot. Every day here, like the event is so hot. Like I'm struggling. We found eggs. Okay, I pray with her, so you guys keep staying. You guys stand up. Okay, make come up to these guys. Yes, could you please see this? Thank you. Oh, she's good. Oh, look at that. Yeah, this is a female, and then this is a harness. And this is my girlfriend. She always plays with me. Crocodile is the one of the most intelligent reptiles. She never writes in my voice. She always plays with me. But... Yeah. This is a typical mature female. Three meters. And she laid egg this year, 40. Yeah, look, her beautiful eye. She's a very attractive girl. Yeah, look, beautiful eye, huh? Cat's eye. Me, they are nocturnal, actually. And then she doesn't know we took all the eggs. Just really instinctionally, she protects the nest. Incubation period is about three months. She hung around here to protect the nest. After three months passed, Nothing happened, she's going back to the wildlife as usual. Anyway, wildlife is a very, very tough. Only less than 30% eggs will be hot. Mostly, in Australia, it's a flood by the storm, wash out all the eggs from their nest. If luckily, eggs stay in a nest, next problem is the strong sun. Cook them. So, most of eggs will be killed. Huh? After hatched, 30% will be hatched. Lots of lots of enemies. For instance, you know, dingoes, guanas, wild pork, and then the crocodiles themselves is a cannibal eating. So less than 1% egg become an actual crocodile. Yeah, did you hear that? That's called jaw slap. Hardest by that, they can bite harder than great white sharks. Some people said it, you know, because they're a nasty man. He won't, he won't give them any food, but I deliberately not to give them food. For instance, this girl need only half eating per week, not per day, per week. So if I give her food each time, over Anyway, she's very quick, often she still food from me. Alright, everybody get a photo? Yeah. Alright, okay, move. I do your side and try to find out another place. Yeah, she did it. Yeah, everybody take a chance to take a photo of the crocodile nest. This is a probably you know, lifetime chance to take a photo. If you want to take a photo of the nest, you have to go to that.
came back holding a, uh, what you call it, a crocodile, a baby crocodile. I'll put part of this in the video right now. Yeah, it feels like plastic. It's really plastic. Mm -hmm. Ah. Crocky, crocky, crocky. I'm into you. 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 I don't see it really. Yeah. I'm into you. I'm into you. I'm into you. I'm into you. So we made it to the turtle pond or area. Um, they had a lot of information on the different types of turtles they had. And the turtles were actually really, really difficult to spot. We kept coming back throughout the day to try and find them, but it was really difficult to find them. Okay, so now we are going on the crocodile farm tour. So we just came from seeing like the crocodiles in their like natural habitat. And now we're going on a farm tour. They're leaving soon. So yeah. Crocodiles, which by the way hatch out at about 20 centimeters long, so basically just medium sized lizards. They could get out of most of our enclosures. Plus, it's a 20 centimeter long lizard that can hold its breath for over an hour when it's small. We are not going to be able to pull those animals out of somewhere like our lagoon, it's just impossible to catch them. So, we remove them when they are eggs. Now, taking eggs from an so this is where they kept all the little baby crocs that weren't ready to be put out with the big ones just yet. So we are going to get a photo. We're going to do another one first and then we do your... Look, he's right there. So we're going to pet that one, I think. That's one we're going to bring up. It looks so cute. It's busy. I'm recording. My mom wants me to hold a koala. I want to record you while you're holding a koala. No, I'm fine looking at it like this. Now I did get to take a photo of the koala. I did not want to hold it though. We also got to taste what a crocodile tastes like. And let me tell you, it tastes a lot like chicken. Hey guys, so now we are at the crocodile feeding show. Mm. They start in like the next 20... Oh, it's either a feeding show or a tax show, I can't remember. But um, we start in the next like 15 to 20 minutes. So you can see the crocodile! Kaki is over there getting ready for his little show. His little show, he's chilling. <laughs> I think your head is there. Yeah, that looks about right. Let's test the theory. Hey, buddy. Ooh. What are we gonna do? What are we thinking? Come on, mate. What's your plan? That's our plan. Oh, Let's go around this way. You come with me? Come on, buddy. That's the way. That's the way. Oh. Close. Closer. Down the hatch. Hey. Round of applause for Hagrid, ladies and gentlemen. We good? No, no. We're just taking a little walk around the outdoor zoo to see what kind of animals we can find and obviously take pictures with. Can you pat the kangaroos? Yeah. They're very friendly. We pat the kangaroos and feed the kangaroos. As you can see, I was terrified. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to feed it. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get 
Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared. 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 I'm Like the kangaroos are so close and it's so beautiful. This one, it's got some big ass feet. So, it's a little baby. There's baby ones over here. Let's go have a look. I think it thinks it's, I'm coming with food, but I don't have any food in my hands. It's a bit of a whoopsie situation. Oh, there's one in the tree up there. We should leave them. No, I think we should live with them. I want to live with them. Yeah. We want them to go to our house. Wait, stop walking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, stop. Yeah, stop. Yeah, stop. Yeah, stop. Yeah, My slipper. I need my slippers. Oh, you can't sit here and get up and eat the food. So don't wobble. That's really cool. And then of course you've got the big foot. Now. Jordan, feed it. Jordan, feed it. It's well done. Oh. Oh, try it. It won't bite. So everything in that bowl that you eat, maybe just put it in the back and I'll do it for the Okay, I'm going. Well, I'm going to feed one more. Yeah. Yeah. There are little guys in the room. I'm going to feed one more. 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 Nice and close, guys. You want to feed one Do you think? Guys, hey y'all. So we are back at the hotel after a long ass day. I can see my makeup. I thought I'd have a bit of, um, you know, me time. And I, uh, I'm gonna watch some Netflix and chill. Also, we had tacos for Christmas, but um, there wasn't any like taco stuff left to put in it. So I literally just put uh, mince and like mashed potatoes in it. You know, it looks nasty, but it's so good. Um, but yeah, that's that. That's the end of today's vlog, Boxing Day vlog. Ooh. Um, I'll see y'all later, I guess. Bye bye.